How are y'all doing today on this beautiful Saturday morning? It's weekend. Gotta get down on the weekend. Look at that. Another hype trail. <laughs> uh, Twitch. Blackberry Donuts Stream says you seem to slightly struggle in GTA because you're in debt. If you want easy cash, do some street racing. Uh, street racing. One place you can access them from is airport. Well, we're doing the fucking. Um, we are doing the motherfucking heist, all right? I just have to steal a helicopter, all right? And then we're good to go. Heist. Elden Ring. MYI be shown on February, February 6th. What does MYA mean? M Y A May February what May February 6 that doesn't make any make any sense Oh May wait may be shown on uh. All right Force enjoy the stream says here you go Teenage uh, what the fuck is this dude The legendary the barefoot team bandit. known as the barefoot bandit has been caught. Police in the Bahamas say the most wanted teenage fugitive in America was captured after crash landing a stolen plane on the island of Eleuthera. 19 year old Colton Harris Moore could be facing dozens of criminal charges, including the theft of five airplanes. Welcome to Uganda. What? Why is he barefoot? So he doesn't leave footprints? Or what? Welcome to Uganda. Barefoot bandit. I never heard of this shit. Sorry, I have to replace my. Colton Harris Moore is 17 years old when he escapes from a halfway house in Renton, Washington. He will remain free for more than two years. His story will become legend. His legend will become history. Never heard of. But okay. Colton Harris Moore escaped from a group home in Renton last night. Harris Moore was just 15 when he was arrested for breaking into homes, stealing valuables, and using computers to place fraudulent online orders. He was serving a three year sentence when he escaped. I just want to know why he's so legendary. I never heard of him.
That wasn't Tonight, even the middle finger. Tonight there's an search for Colton Harris. Coming after you. Three. Welcome to you, gun girl. Apparently a newer. Here he is. Oh, it was. We're coming after you. Tonight there's an all-out search for Colton Harris Moore. Dressed in camouflage and armed with rifles, at least two separate agencies are looking for the teenage burglar after he was spotted late last night. Today, a heavily armed tactical team searched the area around the Elger Bay store where Harris Moore was last seen. While the 17-year-old is 6'5 and 200 pounds, he is crafty and knows the... What? He's 6'5? The fuck? Woods. For more than a year, he eluded law enforcement playing a frustrating game of cat and mouse. One of my sergeants came in and he says, Hey boss, did you hear that Colton Harris Moore got out or, you know, escaped? And I was not very happy because I knew where he was coming. He was coming back to his old stomping grounds and, and, and all these burglaries and the whole thing was going to start up over again, which it did. He had disabled the alarm where there was no alarm going to the police station. He took food and money, packages of hot dogs, and a, a beef jerky, potato chips, a, a whole rack of of vitamin water. I mean, I don't know how he hauled all this stuff away. The undersheriff tells me there's been nine burglaries across Island County in the last two weeks. Now, he won't confirm that any of them are related or linked to Colton Harris Moore. Moore is accused of breaking into dozens of homes and then disappearing into the woods of Camino Island. Island residents begin to notice strange charges to their credit cards from online stores. Outdoor gear, bear mace, computer hacking software, GPS systems, and porn. Items they will never see. Colton is gearing up for an adventure. How did he get their credit cards though? They don't explain that. He knew those woods. He grew up there. He knew every every trail, every pathway, and he was building his camps in very, very thick brush. Where he I mean, he didn't steal the, the credit brush. cards because they started noticing weird uh, things on the credit cards. So he just must have see, seen the numbers or something. Uh, say on the computers. Trail two on. Oh. And he'd get in there and he'd stomp all of that, you know, oh. the area down and put like a tent in there. So he, he went, he went, he went into the house, even asleep went onto the fucking PC. And we'd find his camp and he'd just move to another one. And bought stuff on their, on the PC while they were at home. The fuck? Not too sure how we actually met up. I think it might have been outside of school because he's a couple years younger than I am. Wait, what? Anybody can do a burglary. Don't matter if you're Snitch. the dumbest person in the world. You can get through a window or get through an open door. I was looking for cash. He was looking for credit cards and laptops. <laughs> Vacation homes are actually ideal to hit because of the fact, one, nobody's there. Two, a lot of people like to leave their stuff in the vacation home. Money, computers, cars. We were driving a stolen 2007 Mercedes Benz. Dr. Disrespect origin story, Peng Chong, he had to change his name to Guy Beam to escape from the government. Now he wears body armor because the CIA wants him dead, Monk Omega. Well, this guy is 6'5", they said. No matter what, you always have to look behind you. Sleep one night, gone the next morning. Never stay in one spot. He reminded me a lot of like I was when I was younger, you know? A kid that wanted to make some quick money and make a name for himself. Teen Houdini Colton Moore has been on the run since he escaped three months ago from a group home on Camano Island. He had confessed to a string of burglaries. Now deputies think Moore's stealing again. Everyone in the, in the morning meeting loved the story idea. They wanted to know more about it. They wanted to know where is this kid? What's happening? What's going on? What has he done this time?
we discovered that Colton Harris, which we like to call him the cockroach, came in Left our second you, story Greg window. Me. And what he did was, we've got a, uh, what we call Left the bullpen you, in the Greg back, me. and he climbed up the fence, climbed up the, the roof, and went into the window upstairs. He basically just walked into our store and started getting what he needed, and then he decided to break into our safe, which he did. And this is our remains of it. Over How the $3, fuck? Dollars in our safe. He had a big uh, crowbar. And what he did? decided to break into our safe, which he did. And this is our remains of it. Over $3,000 in our safe. He had big uh, crowbars. Um, and he just... Nice safe. Death, and it really looks like he did. <laughs> found it to Not very a safe. restaurant had surveillance video. He had been there at some point, stolen a credit card, then used the credit card to buy instructional materials on how to fly a plane, had it mailed to the restaurant, then had apparently been monitoring, you know, the tracking number from FedEx or UPS, whoever it was that shipped Welcome it, to you, broke in that night, stole oh, his yeah. annuals, you know, how to he fly a plane, used someone's credit card to buy something. And then have it shipped to their place of business, Welcome and then break into their again. business and steal it. You know, it's this guy's playing real life GTA. Colton sets up camp in the mountains, and immerses himself in the solitude of nature. A human shadow, an island rumor, whispered over campfires. His real journey, however, is about to begin. It is the island's airport that brings him here. A chance to make a lifelong dream become a reality. I was there at the little plane that I used. <clears throat> Dude, how long can you stretch out a fucking... I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. So I looked at it and I was like, holy shit, that's the guy. That's the kid. Oh my god, dude. Man, that's not right. Both leaving with no lights and real slow out the marina. I'm watching the conclusion. I don't want to watch all this fucking like. Oh my god. Okay, he's stolen a boat. And then he okay, went there. Cops. And then he did okay, that. Go and then he did this. We're the only people available to help him out. Without flushing. So we just kind of jumped right in and got the cops on the boat and ran out there. Ronald's driving the boat and I'm kind of hanging over Ronald like this. Yeah, I'm yeah, get, get He's kind of right hanging on. back like this. Another guy's touching his hair. Okay, shut the fuck up. You can actually see right now we've just gotten on a sandbar. You can see the water's a lot shallower. Right here. This is where he was, right here. He was actually sitting on his sandbar. And the, the green part is the shallowest part of the sandbar, and that's why we were able to catch up to him. He wasn't actually stuck. He was just kind of bump, 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 Well, he didn't trim up the engine, so the engines was actually going through the sand. Right around right here is when we actually like came up on him and started shouting at him. Shut down the engines. You're caught. You got nowhere to go. And basically at that point is when he put the gun to his head, said he was going to kill himself, I can't go back, I'm not going to go back. Ronald and I were looking at the GPS, we noticed that he was getting into deep water. You can see him go from this motion to where he was steering to turning around and throttling up on the boat. And at that point, Ronald told the officers, like, if you guys want to stop him, you know, it's going to have to happen soon. And you have to shut the engines. We said he's taking off, he's taking off. Wait, I thought he got caught after landing a plane somewhere.
Well, that's how we get caught. They got him. The Royal Bahamian Police Force did what no U.S. cops could. They ended the run of the Barefoot Bandit. Fucking and they. It's <laughs> it's just bad. And how many years do you think he got? He's safe, and I'm happy, and I love him, and I miss him. How soon will you see him? This is mom. Seven years? Come and gather around me, people, and I'll sing you a song. Sing In a historic plea bargain, Colton agreed to sell the rights to his life story to 20th Century Fox for 1.4 million to pay restitution to his victims. Right. That's probably why he only got what seven years, right? Uh, it sounded very low to me, but like the attention and that what he did was not fun at all. And you still might think it's wrong about a young man by the name of Colton Harris Moore. I sing you a song in case you haven't heard it before. I never heard of him. Washington. Never heard of this guy, but apparently he's a legend. A legend in the GTA community. Uh, Faint Rhythm with a bit says, Hey Mr. Force, have you finished watching The Witcher? I have, I have, I have. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Pretty good. But not like amazing. Kind of slow for the ones who have already played the game, kind of. I mean, okay, I don't know if good, I mean, if something, if I watch some, if I watch eight episodes of something, then it's at least good, right? If you watch eight episodes what of something, it's good enough, at least, right? Would you watch eight episodes of something that is complete shite? I don't think so. Maybe you just want to watch it all so you can hate on it. Or maybe you think it's decent. I don't know. Either way. Alright. We are fucking good to go. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. Uh, let's get some games downloading. Because sometimes I have issues with the internet. If, in case we beat it now. They offered him 1.4 because that's the amount he owed. He didn't have a choice but to accept. The story is probably worth much more. He had, I mean, you cannot just write that without consent, criminal or not. Uh, I mean, he probably didn't have a choice. He had a choice, but probably didn't have a choice in case he didn't want like fucking 15 years plus or something, right? Very positive. Newly released. What is this shit? Welcome to Uganda. Good morning, Mr. Hill. How are you it's feeling? A hipster today? game. We advise you to stick to our program. To exercise your mind.
We will keep an eye on you. Good morning, Mr. Hill. The fuck? Alright. Uh, force and simulator? You know what? We'll get this shit. Seems I'm I'm in trade. You piqued my interest. All right. All right. Let's see if there's something else as well. Welcome to install. Your Boom. 115 megabyte games. Pog champ. Pog Soviet jump game. Battle Royale game? Wait, Battle Royale? Is it like Mario Royale? Oh wait. No, it's just a no. It's not a Mario game. It's just a battle royale in 2D. Uh, first ever battle royale game. And basically, play the first ever battle royale. Dude, okay. All right, this seems very dank. It's like a platformer. So, not just a 2D, actually a platform. And it is. Alright, it's free to play as well. Alright. You had me at the. Uh, Soviet. Go ahead and get this one too. Oh shit. Welcome to Uganda. Alright. Alright, they were both uh two hundred megabytes ish. Uh look at the Iceborne review. Iceborne. Iceborne, 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 Iceborne. Iceborne. Oh, Monster Hunter World. Oh my god. What the fuck? Peggy 16. And you wanted me to fucking level up the main character for the it's expansion? An incredible effect on other life in the new world. Wait. That is no island. Imagine doing on. that and then and stay smart. fucking boom. It has to be technical that. issues though. Not when there's work to be done. Yeah. Uh-huh. That is not the correct word, usage of surreal. Hundred percent CPU usage of the issue. Alright. Well, I wasn't planning on it anyway, so sorry to the fans of the genre that your shit got shite on. That your shit got shite on. Do, 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 do. But we have a couple of games if we beat this, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> you got nominated for Streamer of the Year at BBC Gaming, Lil W, UK Buys, really have nothing to do. 
I, what the fuck are these fucking nominations? Crush my cock with a rock, I must. Maximum pain, I must endure. Okay, here we go. Okay. I know the BBC gaming is, but that wasn't it. Uh, Swas donates and says, Force and have you played Forza Horizon 4? Uh, I want to see you make shortcuts in that game. No, I haven't played that. Not really planning on playing that either. Actually, I'm not a big fan of racing games. All right, let's get going, my ladies. Can I start the game? I'm pretty sure I started the fucking game. Welcome to Uganda. Ho ho! Vice City. We're not doing Vice City uh, until I feel like doing Vice City. So I usually take a break between my playthroughs and play some random shit. 